Welcome back, everyone. Today we have another special guest, Jeff Kahane from Kahane Law. He's got some tips for you home buyers to make your process at the lawyers go a little bit smoother. Thanks for having me. Um, it's great to be here. So first time buyers, an exciting and very nervous time of people's lives. It's amazing. A person will go to Ikea 15 times to help pick out a bed. And then when you see that perfect house, they're jumping on in. So here's a few little pointers that will make life a little bit smoother. One, when you come to see our office, we're going to need ID. And some people get very excited about their new home and they'll go and take their ID to the registry to change their address. The problem is then you get a temporary piece that doesn't have photo ID. We don't care about the address. We need, just need to know that you are you. Um, number two, if you're getting money from an RSP, which happens a lot with your first home, or from a bank that is a no uh, fee account, so they don't have an actual branch here, it can take a week or so in order to get your uh, bank draft and we'll need a bank draft when you come into our office. So it's gonna be really important that you set that up in advance. Buying a new condo or a new home, those salespeople can be a lot of help, but they don't owe you any duty of care. We always suggest that people bring their own real estate agent who can register with the builder and they can make sure that your needs are looked after and the contract is worded properly to protect you because without that protection, you could be in trouble down the, down the road. Um, with your mortgage approval, you want to make sure you don't change your financial situation from the time you get that approval until after the real estate transaction closes. Sometimes people will go out and buy a new car or they'll go to a furniture store and buy on credit. And those credit changes can affect your ability to actually get your mortgage. Other changes, if you quit your job, anything that stops you from being able to get your mortgage could cause you to get into trouble if you can't close and actually buy the property. So it's really important to pay attention to that. And last, Keep your lawyer up to date. Sometimes possession dates change. Sometimes conditions are or aren't waived. We really want to make sure that we know what's going on so that we're in a loop so we can get all your paperwork done in a timely manner and that it's done accurately. Otherwise, sometimes we get people come in and say, how come no one's called me yet? And the answer is, we don't know that you're out there. So communicate with us. We're here. We don't charge you for the calls or if you have questions. Um, and better to ask questions before than to try and fix things after. Great information, Jeff. Remember to contact Jeff or his team for any questions or concerns you may have on your next purchase. Please remember also to subscribe to the AC Lending Group channel to keep up to date on all our new video posts.